And he's a father of lies. Ain't everybody going to watch your message, but for those who hear you, should be delivered. And the more folks hear you, is the more folks will be delivered. I'm not going to, God ain't going to force himself, and I'm not going to force myself on you either. The word of God exposed the tactics of the enemy. Hear me tonight. God is light. Somebody said the beginning there was light. And God said, I said light, which was God, right? Good. Let's get back to the darkness that was in Genesis 1. In the beginning there was darkness. Then God said what? And there was. God said, let there be what? And there was. That's something else. I'm just going to be there because we just don't want to talk there. Okay, so God is light. His word is light. The light exposed the enemy and tear away the darkness. Multitude of people are deceived by the enemy. They are hosts of lying and deceiving spirits. Sound as if he's no liar, like you like what's going on. Come on, Christian folk. Come on, Christian folk. You haven't yet realized what the devil doing to you, you see. The devil is a liar. Let the devil know that you're recognizing what he's doing. He is a liar. You sang that song. Something about you've been running, he's been running, and he's trying to get you, but he ain't getting you right now. And I see folks dancing, and I believe what you're saying. Now I tell you, tell the devil is a liar. You can't even get him. You're lying, devil. You, 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 you know what I'm saying to you? You want to do it in the song. But he is a liar. I say he is a liar. You know why I'm asking you like this? If I'm going to start a deal with forces. You're going to meet them outside. First time I said it twice. Okay. You need to start to dismiss them. You know, come on. I don't need them around me. You, you got to stop. God. You know what I'm saying? You see, you got to get all that little forces out. You don't need those guys around. Okay. And you may be looking nice doing this, being a preacher for 10, 15 years. Not all those seducing, lying demons, deception, deceiving folk, and all kind of stuff around you. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? The devil is a liar. My God, strip yourself before the Lord. He is a liar. But now, he is getting ready. We can do it. Because the Lord now, in so doing, will cause the eyes of his people to be open. If your eyes are open, then you cannot just walk on into stuff. You understand me? You got it? I've been places and I already see things and past like I don't see and never see. Yeah, the thing happened to me again. I think it was either Kiwisa or Aruba with Bishop. And I passed by a house. And Bishop, I said, did you see that? And he said, what prophet? I said, let's go back. I said, look, on the right side, watch on the door. And I passed straight. And he said, yeah, 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 what is that? They explained to him. When I passed back, there was the man. He was a Satan worshiper, stood by the gate. Satan, 
morning. Give me the money. We're not taking money. I don't take no sack from here. I don't know where he was going. I said, Bishop, come on, let's go. I just turned to Bill and say, You haven't seen that. You got something? It's right there with you. I say, It's right there. Look right there on the door. Now, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. None of you here tonight, if you listen to me, none of you here tonight, you'll walk out of here with no spirit. Those evil forces, I said, None. You gotta open. I'm trying to open you up to it. Don't just listen to me. Just open you up to it. You understand me? There was a, a, a high priest. There was this guy who, uh, a high priest guy, every time he see me, he does dip and dip and dip and he say, man, your spirit ten times stronger than mine, boy. I said, how are you going? He said, all right. So then he told me he having a feast there. I said, I'm, I said, I'm coming. So I went up in his feast. Normally kill goats and drink blood and do all kind of stuff. So I went up in the feast. I sit alongside the rail. They had some of the elders sit up top there. I was sitting on this side. And they look at me. Now those guys know how to use the words and to tie you up and all that kind of crazy stuff. And so they look at me. And I know they're going through their business. And I'm laughing. Because they want to know who am I. That this guy going to pick me up from down there and bring me here to sit down. They never see me yet and they don't know me so I'm laughing. Because I'm already on the wavelength and I'm laughing. We begin this, the, the, to do whatever they got to do. Beat the drums and whatever. And they all oh, come in those devils. This lady started walking. I mean, she started walking a straight line. Deformed. Pick up a cutlass and started all kind of crazy stuff. And I sit down there. And watch all this nonsense going on. One of the guys get up and say, he's a prophet. Take up a looter. Hold back his eyes in the back of his head. He begin to walk on to people and prophesy. I said, tell that devil I said, don't come anywhere close to me. Don't even turn away. I'll slap him straight down on the ground there right now tonight. I said, you bring me here. Don't insult me in your house. Say, deal with your folk that need to be dealt with. Not come around me. With that kind of nonsense. And by the time we start coming on talking, talking, I watch the lady. I said, But you don't know your prophet is a faggot. I said, Don't you know he's a faggot? The lady, I said, You can watch him more than he's a faggot. You, you have a faggot saying he's a prophet inside your place. You understand me? In the side going on, he passed by me, and he know to just skip me. I'll slap him down in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and notice, just keep over, just keep over me and continue going your way from me, please. You skipped over, gone over. And those folks begin to get on. I get up, I fold up every chair. Every chair I fold up and I put it against the wall. And I lean up and say, Now you kill one another. And I walk out and I lead it. I say, You chop up every body inside if you want. I walk straight outside. I said, that's what your folks call God and church and, and come, come for somebody to tell you your future and all this nonsense. The devil lie! And then the Christian folks bring it into the church now and playing on folks fancy and, and you like this stuff. So when you come, the prophet is here. Let me hear what the prophet have to say. The prophet say that the devil is a liar. That's why I, I, I slow back even in giving folks a word from the Lord. Because that's all they come to church for. I slow back. Even in laying hands on folks. I say, go up. And receive the word of the Lord. You understand what I'm saying to you? My God. So he came to me. And he said to me, my sister. Ever so often she have a snake. And the tail will come out of a rectum. Could you help me? I said, of course I can. I'll pay you anything I want. I said, $22,000. I'll take that rascal out and put it in a bottle and get to you. Lord said to me, don't touch it. It's a retribution. Don't touch it. I'll leave it alone. I'll leave it right there. Because she still got a little snake every time. A little tail coming out of her rectum. Doing crazy stuff. How many of you want to be delivered tonight? We don't want to be living among the devils. We don't want to be living among the influence of the nations. We don't want to be living among these things. We want Jesus. We want the Holy Ghost. We want to outpour the Holy Ghost. We want to be baptized in the Holy Ghost. We want water from our ankles. Water to our knees. Water to swimming. We need the Holy Ghost outpouring. 
We are loving these devils to take our land. But no more, no more. No more the sons of God need to rise up and let them know Jesus reigns. If you believe Jesus reigns, shout it. If you believe Jesus reigns, shout it. Say with me, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Destroy every works of Satan in my life. I am free indeed. I am free indeed. And the devil got the hand on any one of you. No Christian supposed to be possessed. Are you hearing me? But I'm longing to see the church of God, like we say, on fire. You seen that fire thing tonight? Burn them, burn them. Say, burn them. That's what we need. The Holy Ghost. You see, they get out there and rage war against the forces and burn them. They need to make way when we come in. Make way, make way. We've been sitting down and taking everything. The devil dishing you out. You're calling. I need some prayers. You need to get up sometime. You hear what I'm saying to you? So then you need to just get up and snap that rascal even though you can't see him. And go by the door and say outside. You hear what I'm saying to you? You hear what I'm saying to you? Because Jesus is alive. You get to me? And we will no longer live among the beggarly elements. We are not asking anybody to tell us about our future. We know what our future is. You hear what I'm saying to you? Our future is that God is going to fill us again with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And he said, behold, I give you power. Of all the powers of the enemy, you shall tread upon serpents and they will not hurt you. If you drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt you. And this is the power that God gave to the church. Say with me, I got the power. Say, I got the power. We will render helpless the forces of darkness. Say yes. Demons are also represented by different creatures. The diversity in the animal kingdom is a picture of the diversity in the kingdom of darkness. So I realized when the Lord showed me that he subtly, Satan, moving in another plane that you don't understand because you're only looking for demonic activities based on how you could see or so that you could determine it. And because of this, he showed me, and I'm saying to you now, that the Bible talk about serpents. The Bible talk about scorpions. It speak about lions. Speak about jackals. Bulls and foxes, owl and sea creatures, flies and dogs. And all of these were together. These represent different kinds of evil spirits that operate to destroy mankind. And we don't know. You understand? They are invisible to the natural eye. They are just as real, however, as natural creatures, but the natural eyes can't see them. So the operation is so subtle in and among the people, in the land, in the church, all over, everything you're doing. You are encountering differences and want to know why. How come my brother acting? Like, how come this happening like this? Because the forces are so invisible that you cannot detect them. But these forces can operate through people. These forces operate to governments. They operate through the economic system. They operate through the educational system and different structures that set up by man. These forces can operate from different locations and in different territories. That's why when I pray, I say I take authority over the strong man of this region. Because the only how I can spoil his house is the first bind. Now we bind the strong man and we are getting now to spoil his goods. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? The strong man in Road Town, the strong man in Sikhaus Bay. We bind the works of the enemy in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now we bind him. We are getting ready now to deal with the works and spoil it. 
How many of you are ready to spoil principalities and powers? No more, no more, no more. I'm not for sale. Tell the devil, I'm not for sale. No more. I've been deceived. No more. You had me believing it was all right. No more. That's right. That's right. So we take the authority. And we abolish every spirit operating in our lives. I say every spirit operating in our lives. Don't tell me you ain't got none. And now tell us some of them so subtly you don't even know the deal. You understand me? Some of my casting no spirit over the folk. By the time I snatch one, one more pop up. You didn't even see him. Hiding somewhere. I remember this lady came once and she came to the church and somebody was preaching. Oh, God started to move. Lay hands on her, she followed. Beep. And then service going on and going. Every time she tried to get up, I lay my hands on her. I sit right there with a the chair. And every time she tried to get up, I said, Bip. She never get up until service finished. And as she move again, I said, Bip. I just touch her. She just said, up. Every time she moved, I just touch her. She gone off for about 15 minutes, stretching for me to take her up. I just said, Bip. You stay quiet. Somebody preaching. Bip. By the time the service over, they said, oh, she need help. I said, well, I'm sleeping tonight. Good night. I'm going home to sleep. I said, lady, where you live? I've been fasting for 14 days. I said, I'll come and see you then. So I took my wife and went down there. When I reached the gate, they had two bamboo with two flags. That's the cock. Flying high by the gate. And on the ground had a cutlass that stick, boom, in the ground. So I go to the gate. And I tell me I can't watch these flags. Don't do what I do. And I snatch that cutlass. We get up off the ground. Chop those flags. But the thing is that now when I chop those flags, the flags they want to chop. So knowing me, Pastor Ali, yeah. I run on in and I kick it down since you don't want to get chopped down. Kick those flags down, broom. She everything in the front. Went on up the step to see the lady. And she's in her bed. So how you doing? She said, take a chair. I said, ma'am, I didn't come here to be entertained. Take a chair, sit down. What can I get you? You're so polite and so nice. You didn't come to be entertained. Hey, you come to deal with an issue and I'm ready to go. So I let my hands on the name of Jesus. Oh, God. She begin to ball. I'll do his touch me. My head, my head, my neck, my neck. My hands ain't all that heavy. <laughs> my hands ain't all that heavy. But she began, my neck, oh God, oh God, my neck, my neck, my neck. I turned to her, I said, where your husband, ma'am? She called her husband and said, come, sir. He come and said, go out and look in one, two, three, four, there are four corners against your wall. I say, get a fork and dig it up. You're going to find four small dark bottles. The lady almost faint. She said, how you know the deal? I said, because I see them. Dig them out. Because she brings somebody there to pray to help her. They know. You know, you know how you do stuff. Go to the other man to help you. And he bade you and slap you about and baptize you and do all kind of stuff for you want deliverance. Well, Jesus is here tonight. I said, take out all the bottles. By the time the bottles come, I said, put everything out in the front. Everything out in front of him, scratch a match. I'm but you, know, you go with him, go with him. I said, Why I must go with him for what? through this thing is from help but you're looking for help in the wrong places 
and I, 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 I will make this statement, no disrespect. And I may understand why. Because the preachers are fake. And for sure, you ain't come out to die. So by any means, help! You got it now? So, that's how we get tired. Then we get into conflict. Whatever was said and done and whatever, and get those demons in and your high priest come in and do whatever they all got to do. What? No, you can't get out that easily. Because sometimes those stuff are sealed with blood, goat blood, chicken blood, cock blood, duck blood. You, you, you know what I'm saying? If you just sealed by blood, it's strong. You can't just deal with it. It mess you up. There are times when I finish, I got to pause and stay away from casting out devils for months. Unless I get mashed up myself. Weak. Train you. You think you understand what I'm trying to say? See? Satan just go on in. God called me. I got the power. Ah. I thank God for wisdom too. <laughs> That's some understanding. You understand me? So I will live and not die to declare the works of God. I will declare the works of God. Are you with me? Are you with me? You've been to Pakistan and there were uh, these people when time come for prayer, they flocked the whole place in front of me there. And this lady come with a child and the child a little limb, limb and, and uh, you believe God and I snatched the child out of the woman's hand and stretched the limbs out in the name of Jesus Christ and put the child back in the woman. You understand what I'm saying? Two blind men coming down, meet me way down in Yohanabad in, in this arena and they were on Knowing that they were blind, and by the time I went through the gate, there was announcing that I'm coming. The two blind men stood up and trying to feel my way and come to me. And the only thing I could have break down in tears, I said, Oh God, and I thought about sickness, poverty, demonic activity. We just gotta heal them in the name of Jesus. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Do you understand what I'm saying to you? In my days when I didn't understand much, I raised the dead up, and by the time the dead get up, all of his spirit come home with me. I don't even know what to do. I stripped naked. I put my head under the bed. I said, God, I can't handle it no more. I don't even know what to do because I'm naive. See, the dead get up. And I, all those demons get up with it. Find me. So imagine the mess I was in. Suicidal spirit, all kind of spirits attack me. But I'm ready to die now. I'm a wife and she can't help me. You know what I mean? I say, I want to die. It's too much. Fear. But thank God for Jesus. You see, not having a mentor. You understand what I'm saying to you? But just raw and simply just believe God pure. Operate. And now, uh-huh. But what I love about the Lord is that he teach me. I'm hand fed. See? He teach you. I, 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 I'm hand fed. So, I learn how to move in, move out, and help you too if you need help. Do you understand what I'm saying now? So now we take authority and abolish. Do you know what abolish means? We abolish every spirit operating in our lives. Agree, agree with me. Now if you like them and you don't want to let them go, then fine. You got to decide enough is enough. You got to decide, hey, I'm not going to decide. You got to decide if that's what it takes. Tonight is my night. You sang tonight like it was total jubilation. And I said, jubilee. You need to praise God like that and sing tonight like that before you even go home. You know what I'm saying? Total jubilee in the spirit and believe God. Walk in it. Are you with me now? Amen. We beat down every spirit and take authority over every spirit we destroy we break down we cast down we tear down we pull down we throw down every spirit stand on your feet you sit in the comfort table are you here with me tonight we cast out do you agree with me somebody open those two back doors right there Open those two back doors, please. And there's the one that's coming up the step. Open that one. Tonight, we cast out. We chase. We confound. We fight against. Tonight, we make war. Against. I have seen Santa Maria. Mayor, that's what it is, the Spanish prayers. 
going on right now. Some in the back. I don't know if you got somebody, you got Spanish folks anyway. Close it on there. Yes, you do. <laughs> we blow out the candle. In the name of Jesus. We upset the altar. We're here to stay. Say, we're here to stay. Oh, you, you, you may have said like you mean that 10, 15, 20 years, gospel of Jesus here to stay. Tell every other spirit, you we cast you out. But we stay. We possess the land. In the name of Jesus. We come up against and we bind and we cast out. All mind controlled spirit of the octopus and the squid in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I bind and I cast out every scorpion spirit of fear and torment in the name of Jesus. Stop believing. I bind and I rebuke the scorching house. The owl that pass in the night and scream, we bind the force of darkness now. We rebuke that owl spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bruise the head of every deceiving saint. Say, I rebuke every phantom in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, that serpent spirit, the typhon. Okay, in Jesus' name. That spirit that will seek to squeeze out my prayer. Wrap its life around me that I can't pray. Wrap its life around me that I don't feel to call on your name. I rebuke in Jesus' name. The python spirit in the name of Jesus. I release the spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. The spirit of prayer. Upon you in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. Seven me, I bind. And rebuke every cobra that will come up against me. In the name of Jesus. Say that if you mean it. You will leave out of here free. Free. Free I say. Indeed. I bind and rebuke every crocodile that will come against me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind every flying serpent and every sea serpent that will come up against me come on it's against your life in Jesus name because you don't even know they are there they are deceiving but in Jesus name we are exposing every deceiving spirit in the name of Jesus be gone I say be gone Besides you, lady, besides you. But there is somebody that has a pain running down the spine and lodged right down in the lower part of the back. In Jesus' name, I hope, I hope. You can make me a lie if you want, but you're going to testify after. You don't got to be tonight. But in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I command in Jesus' name that pain now instantaneously to disappear. And so it is. You can feel for it because it's gone. You can feel for it. Because it's gone. I'm telling you, it's gone. I have authority, say, to tread upon serpents. I cast out every viper that will operate in my life in the name of Jesus. I rebuke Beelzebub, the Lord of Flies, in the name of Jesus. Every swarm of flies that will come against me. In the name of Jesus. Somebody give him a praise. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. I encounter. Prince. Big guy. Prince of evil. And prince of darkness came and sit to talk with me. I encountered spirits that told me they were 10,000 years old. That when they get up to walk, they cannot even walk. They walk in a straight line like this. And 
the whole body is pressed up so they're always trying to balance. And every time darkness will show, the transformers in the neighborhood will boom with a floor. I don't know he's coming. The dog will begin to howl. Ooh, and he will show up. You hear what I'm saying to you now? Now to you, you tell yourself, well, they can't sell me. See, I've been the prophet. I go to some stuff in my life and I could understand why. Because I go in regions and I must know the spirits of what when I enter the place. So I could bind and get the word through. You think you understand me? But I come here to expose some to you, to free you up. Got it now? Make life easy on your past and on yourself. Now those little guys locked up underneath there that you think it's just all right to tell a little lie and all right to do a little nonsense. You know what I'm saying to you? It's a devil. And we don't need it around here. That's all right? This is the church of the living God. The church of the living God. That's the we are the church of the living God. Hello, 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 hello. Say, I renounce and loose myself from any spiritual garbage that will attract flies. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tell Belzebub, go with your flies. We don't need all those garbage old story. We're in a garbage pan. Go with your flies. We rebuke you. In Jesus name. Out of my life. Out of my life. I rebuke the jackals. That will attack my life. That will attack the city. That will attack the nation. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke the night wolves. <laughs> in Jesus name. That will attack my life. In the name of Jesus. And for those of you who cannot sleep now. I pray his beloved sleep. I rebuke every goat. The spirit of Pan. In the name of Jesus. I rebuke. The wild cats. Leopards. Lions. Jaguars. Which represent the higher occult spirit and powers. In Jesus' name, somebody say, we bring you down, and we cast you down, we trample you under our feet, and now we cast you out in the name of Jesus. No more, no more, no more, no more, no more. God, we really got to know how to pray even your children. No more, no more. Are you hearing me? I rebuke the hyenas that will attack my life in the name of Jesus. I rebuke, I bind every wild dog representing false religion, witchcraft, and perversion that will harm my life in the name of Jesus. Say, I'm free. I'm free. Somebody turn in Jesus. I'm free. I'm free. Give him a praise. If you're going to go to the nations, you're going to understand every nation you go in, have a strong man. Every city you go in, have a strong man. Every area you go, the villages have a strong man. Before you start service meeting, I got to spend time. If I'm in the city, I got to reach home at 12 o'clock. I need to pray. I need to take authority over the forces. You hear what I'm saying to you? And bring them in subjection to my spirit under my feet in the name of Jesus. So that we can release the power of God. In the atmosphere. Somebody praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We got to learn to do that. Say I bind. And rebuke. The bulls. The spirit of the bulls. No represent strong rebellion. Yes. And we rebuke it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus I say. I command. All foxes. That will destroy my fruit. That will destroy my fruit. To leave my life. In the name of Jesus. My fruits will not be destroyed. My fruits will not be destroyed. Say it with conviction. My fruits will not be destroyed. Praise the Lord. I exercise. My dominion. Over unclean, foul of the air. So that every spirit bird sent against me 
be taken in a snail. Now you should start already supposed to begin to feel yourself light on that. Every spirit bird that is set against me be taken in a snail. Oh, hallelujah. You, you, you believe I am loved? I'm not loved. You don't think they want to get rid of me too? Why not? But the devil is a liar. I already tell him I come here to stay. I live by the power of God. Are you hear what I'm saying to you? Are you hear what I'm saying to you? I bind and rebuke every spiritual vulture. In the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Say I bind and rebuke the commorant. That's supposed to be the vomiting pelican that you see for the beach in the name of Jesus. From operating in my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any raven set against my life. In the name of Jesus. I bind and rebuke any demonic eagle and hawk set against my life. I command their nests to be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, I destroy their nests. I destroy their young ones. In Jesus' name, we cast you out. We cast you out. We cast you out. In the name of Jesus, leave. Now give a lot of praise right there. Oh, hallelujah. Give it a lot of praise. Lift him up. You can do better than that for setting you free. Lift him up. No weapon form against you shall prosper. Now say with me, revive me. Save me conviction. Revive me. Revive me. Where you've been feeling weak and the devil been sapping your energy. You are not going to get a pacemaker. I say no. Right now in Jesus name we fix that problem. You will breathe normally. Your body now is coming in alignment to the will of God. Somebody praise the Lord. Say revive me. Revive me, O oh Lord. Revive me, O oh Lord. Revive me, O oh Lord. Say repair, repair, repair every desolation in my life. Say with me, repair. Come on, look at me. Say repair every desolation in my life. Don't miss God over there. Don't miss God over there. Say repair. Repair. Repair every desolation in my life. Say let me be exalted. Let me be exalted. Let me be exalted. Exalted. Let me be exalted. Say, Lord, open your floodgates. Open your floodgates. Open your floodgates. Open your floodgates. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Pour out, pour out your blessing. Pour out your blessing. Say, Lord, let the mantle of your power rest upon my life. Let the mantle of your power rest upon my life. Say it again. Let the mantle of your power rest upon my life. Say, Lord, let my clothes be full of your virtue. Let my clothes be full of your virtue. Full of your virtue. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Well, I got the power. In the name of Jesus. You got the power. In the name of 
Jesus. Whatever you bind on earth, it bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. I am free. I am free. I am free indeed. I am free indeed. Somebody give him a praise. Give him a praise. Praise him as if you know how. Praise him, all the nations. Praise him, all the people, for the merciful kindness is great towards us. The truth of the Lord endure it forever. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't stop praising him. Don't stop praising him. Don't stop praising him. He's getting ready now to heal your body. I say he's getting ready now to heal your body. Oh, yeah. Oh. Lord, hallelujah, 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 praise the Lord, I said praise the Lord, I said praise the Lord. Give him a praise, give the Lord a praise, give him a praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All your sick folk. Anybody here with pains in your body right now? Pains in your body right now. Come. Hallelujah. Pass by here. Pass by here. Yes. You're complicated. You're complicated. You have all kind of problems. Your breathing respiratory problem. Your circulations in your feet. You want to you you want to praise God, but your legs give you all kind of problems. Tonight, Jesus is here. He gonna fix you from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I command now in Jesus' name that your whole body be regulated. I take authority over everything that is not of God and I neutralize it now. I bring your body in alignment in Jesus' name. Be healed. Now tell me about the pains in your body. Tell me if you have any pains in your body. The God, raise your foot up. Dance, give him a praise. Give him a praise. That's right. Oh, hallelujah. Give the Lord a praise, I say. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. You've been trusting God. You've been trusting God. I'm going to tell you something. Do you know your kidneys are bad? Do you know they're bad? Fix the kid. We fix the kidney and we take the pain out. In the name of Jesus, I command the healing now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be so. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I know you're all excited. Is it there? It's gone. Give him a praise. Give him a praise. I got a praise. I got a praise. And I gotta get it out. I got a praise. I got a praise. I got a praise. I got a praise. And I gotta get it out. I got a praise. Praise him. 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 Praise him.
Jesus Christ and I give this miracle. Be he. So it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of when I think of the good shit, yeah, that one is not for me. When I think of his goodness and how he set me free, I would dance, 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 all night. I want you to hold one minute. I want you to hold one minute. I want you to turn, and I want you to turn three times. When you turn three times, I'm going to touch you. And instantaneously, every pain out of your body is going to be drained. Turn. Turn. That's one. Turn. That's two. Turn. That's three. Loose. In the name of Jesus. No, that's it. Tell me if you got those pains. It's gone. Oh, you know it's gone. You ain't feeling it again. Bend over. Bend forward. Stretch yourself a little bit. Make sure it's gone. It's gone. Woo! It's gone. Praise the Lord. It's gone. Are you hearing her? Is it gone? Is it gone? Is it gone? She's not talking to me. Loose in the name of Jesus Christ. No straighten up. No, so it is. That's it. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. When I think of the goodness and what is done for me, when I think of his goodness and how it set me free, I will dance, 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 dance all night. Yeah. When I think of his goodness and what is done for me, when I think of his goodness and how it set me free, I will dance, 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 dance all night. Yeah. I can dance all night. I can dance. I can dance. Thank you. 
Entire body said that the Lord rebuke you, the blood of Jesus Christ now be upon you, cover you, everything. Hey. That is the right now, pass it out, heal you, and so it is in the name of Jesus. Do you have any pain in your hands? Just my video. What do you want God to do for you tonight? Thank you. 